Okay, we're still on the invoice sheet. And now we're going to populate the field names, taxes per item, total cost, including taxes, also total sales before taxes, and also total profit. So let's begin here by clicking in this cell right here in cell I2. And what we're going to do now is calculate the taxes per item. Uh, how we're going to do that, it will be a formula, equal sign. And it will be H2 multiplied by M2, the actual sales tax itself. So total cost before taxes multiplied by the sales tax. Hit enter. Next, we're going to calculate the total cost including the taxes. And that will be H2 plus I2. Or the field names, total cost before taxes plus taxes per item. Next, we're going to go into cell P1. We're in P1 and we're going to calculate total sales before taxes. Equal. I'm going to move over. And it will be F2 times G2. F2 multiplied by the quantity, which is G2. Hit enter. The profit is always equal to the revenue, total sales before taxes, equal P2 minus J2. Hit enter. Let's name this table, something that we should have done earlier. Click on Design. So we clicked on Design. We're going to name this table Invoices. enter. So the name of this table is called invoices. We can now turn this Excel table into a pivot table. Click on insert. Click on pivot table. Click OK. Our various field names are now all listed within our pivot table. I'm going to go down here. What we really want to calculate is the total sales before taxes. I'm going to drag that field down. Once again, total sales before taxes. We want to be able to perform a grouping by quantity, or rather by The grouping will actually be by quarter, not by quantity. So how we're going to do that is by taking our date field.
drag it down to rows. Click on one of those dates. Right click. Group. You need to highlight quarters and also years. Click OK. We actually have too much information showing, so I'm going to take the date field and remove it from our pivot table. Move our months up here. Take our years and drag it up into filters. There's only one year that we're dealing with, 2017. So we have our quarters and also the sales figures for those quarters and by month. Let's format the sales properly as either accounting format or currency. Click on one, one number. Right click number format let's make it currency click OK let's, let's ensure that our field names are in fact going to be showing so we're going to click on design report layout show in tabular form Next, I'm going to move our quarters out and actually create a slicer to show our quarters. So we're going to click on Analyze. Insert a slicer. Select quarters as our slicer. Right now it's listed down to bottom. Come up here. Next, we're going to group everything by product ID description and storage let's choose only the third and fourth fourth quarter quarter three hold down control and click on quarter four so that only our third and fourth quarters are going to be showing. We still have a little bit too much information here. So I'm going to click within my pivot table. Click on design. Subtotals. Do not show subtotals so we're only looking at the second and third quarters for our various types of iPhones the sales should add up to 22006 370 I'm going to copy this information. Control C. Click into Sales Tracking. And post those sales figures in cell D3. I'm going to post them by pasting them. Control V. 
This is our number. Let's get a percentage of the total equal. Click on our first sales figure. Divide it by our total. That total needs to be locked in because it's a percentage of a grand total. And each one of our phones are, are going to be computed in that manner. So we're going to lock it in. F4. Check mark. Drag the information down. And we have just completed our sales for the second and third quarters, or rather the third and fourth quarters of the given year. So third and fourth quarters starting from July through December. Thank you.